I suppose it's been a long time, but welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Leaf Green and my Mono Flying run. And it's time to take on Lorelei, the Master of Ice and one of the greatest pains in my backside. <sighs> Problem with a flying team is they just don't take ice attacks very well. At all. Um, it's one of their few major weak spots, and quite frankly, she can hit hard and often. Um, I got no real counter for it either, um, besides bashing my way through, usually. And hoping Agent Power works out in my favor and gives me a super boost. Yeah, I'm probably dead. Oh, I actually survived that. Okay. This wouldn't be so bad. She didn't have so many Pokemon that were also water type as well, so I can't really nerf their attacks with um, Charizard. If all they knew were ice attacks, I could at least, you know, set up against them more easily. Um, since at least that would be neutral damage instead of super effective damage. Problem is, a lot of ice types back in this gen were also water type. Thank you very much, so. Yeah. This is annoying. I'm hoping Cloyster will spend some of its time protecting itself and setting up spikes so I can start um, double teaming then hitting myself up with X attacks, or at least a couple of them. Yeah, I can't really dodge the hail, but whatever. That's small tails in comparison to a surf attack, so I'll worry about that later. And yeah, Cloyster loves playing um, super defensive, setting up protects and stuff. To nerf when you actually do try and throw a punch at it. I understand why she's doing it, doing what she does. After all, if you play a more defensive strategy, you can definitely make it harder for your opponent to get the edge on you. Especially when you're using um, Hail here for um, effective damage. Now she's laying down some spikes for later. I can't dodge the hail, unfortunately. It'd be nice if I could. Another double team. It did, huh? One more. Hopefully this dive attack misses. Ugh. Well, it did connect, but it didn't hurt as bad as it could have. Um, yeah, I'll go with it. I don't think Die would knock me out anyway. This doesn't have enough power, but I gotta worry about the hail coming back at this point. And its damage adds up after a while. No, for a pair of X attacks. Yeah, yeah, you do that, man. You do you. I'm hoping it misses this time, but who knows? Maybe Dive has 100% accuracy. I don't think it does, though. Nope. Dive's not one of my favorite moves, what can I say? Okay, Brick Break. Well, without Protect Up, it actually did fairly well. I'm surprised. Well, what am I gonna do? Do I want to use another X attack? Well, I suppose I could. I was largely planning on saving those for the battle against Lance, but I can only get myself six ups, so I must just use it. Gosh darn it. Despite how evasive I am, I'm still getting pounded here. It sucks. Ugh. I mean, I figured with th so many um, double teams in play, I'd basically just be dodging everything, like a evasive goddess or something, or I guess in this case, fiery god. But no, I'm still getting punched in the face. Gosh darn it. Well, with three ups on my attacks, though, I might be able to just punch this thing out of existence with Brick Break, to be honest. Lapras is probably one of our most annoying Pokemon. Well, also I have Slowbro. I don't even know how that fits into our typing scheme at all, considering, you know, it's not technically an Ice-type. It's a Water Psychic-type. 
Sure, I can learn some ice moves, I'm sure, but still, it's not really fitting her typing scheme. But I guess whatever works for her, you know? I guess originally they're all supposed to be, you know, dual type masters or something, which is why you got Agatha with ghosts and poison and stuff. Okay, now what to use on you? Let's see, probably Aerial Ace. If you're Ice Psychic, I could just throw Brick Breaks and not worry about it. Ooh, a critical hit, sweet. Haha, -ha, Slowbro's down for the count. And that leaves Jinx. <sighs> Ice Psychic. And the evolved form of one of my favorite baby Pokemon, because let's face it, Yuki Ono has been carrying me in the gold run for the most part. Well, I figured either way is neutral damage, so I might as well just go for it. They shouldn't, huh? Well, they are, so deal with it. I suppose I did, but the next target's not exactly the the best in my experience. Let's see, who do I want to send out for this? Um, I guess we'll let Peach relead off. Hmm, shouldn't be too bad, except when we have to deal with um the Onyx and stuff. But you know, that's when Worm comes into his own. You know. Hopefully. At least on the plus side, we can avoid any Earthquake attacks with this team, so we don't have to worry about that, at least. Though the AI may spam it anyway, sometimes it makes really stupid decisions like that. Not always, but sometimes. And you should capitalize on it when it does. Oh yeah, I forgot, he starts out with an Onyx. Gosh darn it. I don't have any ground attacks here. Oh wait, I got Earthquake. Never mind. Eat that, Onyx. He'll probably counter with, like, Rock Slide or something, though. Yep, Rock Tomb. Well, darn. Double Edge. Oh, of course he's got a full restore. Gosh darn it. At least I don't take damage from that. Because of my special ability, so... There is that. As far as why I used it, I didn't want to, have to use up a valuable Earthquake attack, you know, if I didn't have to. I mean, they are powerful moves there, so... It's best to save them for worthy targets. And Onyx is not something I usually consider... Worthy... Of an Earthquake. <sighs> but it's either that or switching out, and I don't want to switch out in the middle of a fight, usually. Um, no, I think we can take Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan's not usually the best, though it might drop me with a Mach Punch on my luck. Okay, where are we coming back? Counter! Gosh darn it. That was a decent strategy, I have to admit. Take the hit, then fire back the counter attack. <sighs> I'd love to see you try that on Worm, though. Worm don't take your BS. <sighs> Reminds me of the time I was doing the Rock Run and had to go up against Claire and had to bring Mirror Move all things for the win. Good times. I hated that gym. I really did. It was it was a tough one. I suppose it was um enjoyable when I won, but I hated the, the push that it took to get there. I don't like relying on counter moves, really. <sighs> ah, Rock Tomb, that's gonna hurt. Ugh. And it lowered my speed. Like, all his Pokemon know Rock Tomb? It's not fair. Oh, my Pokemon can learn that move. <sighs> well, if life was fair, you know what they say. Because it isn't. It really isn't. Ah, Mega Kick. Ah. Well, I shrugged it off, if only just. Though that speed loss hurt me there a bit. Okay. Do I want to send out to get this other Onyx? That's the question. Well, 
Well, I want to get my speed boost back, so I guess we'll send out Monarch. That's one way to get rid of the effects of Rock Tomb, after all. Double Edge, huh? Why not Rock Tomb? It would have been a better option. I'm not even kidding about that. Or maybe this Onyx doesn't have it. Well, darn. Monarch just slaughtered that Onyx with the Giga Drain. <laughs> Go Butterfree, you gotta kill. I honestly wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I didn't think Butterfree would earn any kills against the Elite Four. How could you lose? Because I had a Butterfree. And it just ruined your day, man. Okay, let's open up our bag of tricks. Gonna have to use up a revive here. After all, Petrie still has some fight left in him. Sort of a shame I have to use up one of my better healing items like that. You know, this giving up the revive, but, you know, whatever. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Okay. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Next time, we'll finish off the remaining Elite Four members. Until then, see ya.